What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about shooting a guitar cover or demo video. Uh, the reason I named both of those in the title is because this is going to apply to either one of those two. Now, I know that I have a lot of guitar player friends out there that are sitting in their bedrooms. They're killing it. They're getting really, really good. And they want to share this gift with their friends, their family, or with the world through social media. Now, obviously, everything takes place on social media now. It's much easier to get your video and your content out uh, through Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube as opposed to just taking like a band camp link and kind of shopping that around and trying to get people to listen to either a cover that you did or an original demo song that you recorded. Now, I really not everybody has a mirrorless or DSLR camera just laying around in the house that they can use to shoot their videos. Uh, but the means to make a really good quality video may be just sitting in your hands as we speak right now. And of course, I'm talking about a cell phone. Now, I do feel like most people these days do have some sort of a recently released smartphone in their hands. And a lot of people don't realize just how good the camera quality is in some of these phones. Now, I have an iPhone 8. This is by no means the latest and greatest thing. There's been a lot of really cool phones that have been released since this thing. This thing's about, I don't know, three years old, something like that. I've had it for a long time. And as you can see, I've definitely put this phone uh, through its paces. If you can see, it's all cracked and messed up. But don't worry, it's just the case. The phone on the inside is doing just fine. Now, I watch a lot of YouTube. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's the only thing I watch. If I'm gonna sit down and watch TV, whenever I have time to do that, I don't turn on anything else. I just watch YouTube. Uh, it's actually fun for me to sit down and watch what other guitar players are doing out there. I love watching covers of my favorite songs, so I do see quite a bit of videos. Uh, some of them are really good, and uh, some of them are you know, not so good. Some of them need a little bit of guidance. So I wanted to take this time to share some of this information with you guys so that you guys can take your cell phone and use it to its maximum potential as an actual camera. Now on the shooting aspect of it, one of the most important things that you are going to need is going to be lighting. Lighting is extremely important, whether if you're shooting it with a very expensive camera or if you're just gonna be shooting it with your cell phone. Either way, if it's not lit well, it's gonna look terrible. Now, I know you guys have seen a lot of videos where it looks like somebody's just sitting in a room with the window open and that's sufficient lighting. What you guys don't see is that behind that camera, there's gonna be at least one or two different light sources that are sufficiently lighting that video. And you can also just put the camera in front of the window and then shoot yourself in front of the window. But let's be honest, that's gonna limit the background. That's gonna limit the angles that you can shoot from. Uh, it's just gonna make a one dimensional video. Now, getting good lighting is gonna be a lot cheaper than you guys may think. By the way, just to put this out there, I am not associated or affiliated with any of the products or links that I'm gonna provide you guys with. I'm not getting paid a dime if you click that link. I'm just trying to share the information and the deals that I've come up on uh, that have helped me make videos along the way. So to give you guys an example of what these light panels look like, this is what I use to actually shoot all my videos, the video that you guys are watching right now and any other demo video that I've ever made. All right guys, so let me show you guys a little setup that I have going on here. This is how I set up the majority of my YouTube videos. I have two LED panels, one up there, one down here. Then of course I have the camera right there. Now the one up there is the one that gives us the sufficient lighting so that the camera can actually see me. And the panel that I have down here is just color lighting. What this really does is just color the room a little bit. It makes it a little bit warmer so that when I color grade it, my skin isn't like super bright white. Now both those LED panels, I bought them about, I don't know, I wanna say like, six months ago, maybe seven months ago. And they're actually pretty cheap. They're about $150 for the pair. You can actually buy them without the stands and you can get them for $100 on Amazon. There'll be a link to that uh, down below. So really not bad. You can also just buy one of them. If you have like a lamp or something like that, that you can kind of point around the room with a shade that you can also manipulate just to point the light. Anything really works and helps to help you get some sort of a lighting going in your video. Now, the reason lighting is especially important when you're using a cell phone is because the light sensors in cell phones are particularly weak. Uh, if you guys are ever shooting a video on like Snapchat or on Instagram and you notice all of the static that's around you whenever you're doing it in the dark or you're in the house and it's very low lit, that's because the sensor inside the phone is struggling to find any sort of light that it can uh, so it can light the picture. Now that's called noise. Now a cell phone is gonna be more inclined to give you that than an actual DSLR or mirrorless camera. So what you wanna do is make sure that you have sufficient lighting. All right, the next thing you're definitely gonna need is some sort of a tripod. Now hopefully you can get away with maybe book stands and anything you could find, maybe put a cup behind the phone and set it up like that to get it to sit up, but that's only gonna get you so far. One of the best things you can invest in is a small tripod. Uh, I got this one right here off of Amazon for $13. That's pretty cheap and it's really cool. It's very flexible. It You can just put it any which way you want to, which is very convenient for shooting videos. You're never gonna know which angle is gonna look best and you want to have the flexibility 
literally of being able to move your phone around to get the best one. So like I said, guys, 13 bucks, super, super cheap. Link is also gonna be down below for that. Now I'm also gonna touch on this briefly. Uh, one of the things you guys see in my video that's kind of a newer addition is you see all the neon lights that are around the desks and stuff. This just adds a little bit of aesthetic. It's really good to have some color in the background popping out uh, to catch people's eyes. And it does make the cover videos and demos look much better. And that's this right here. Uh, this is about $45 off of amazon.com. This will also be in the description below. This one I think is the best bang for the buck. You get two reels of lights in this that are pretty long. Uh, you get hardware to mount them. And if you don't wanna use a hardware, meaning you don't wanna screw anything into the walls or into your desks, they come with adhesive behind the strips of light themselves so that you can just tape them on wherever you want them to be. Now onto the next part of shooting the video, what you wanna do is shoot from as many angles as humanly possible. Nobody wants to see just one static shot of you playing guitar, it can get kind of boring and most people these days are using a lot of multi-angle shots. Just get done shooting one angle and then move it over and shoot it again and then shoot it again and shoot it again. Whenever I shoot a demo or a cover video, I do right around eight to nine different angles and shots so that I know when I get into my editing software, I have all of the footage necessary to make a good video. I'm not gonna have to go back and set everything back up and play it again. That's definitely something that you wanna avoid. By the way, just a quick tip, when you guys are shooting your angles, when you guys are shooting your video, don't be afraid to be a little more animated than you normally would be. You wanna give your viewers something to watch, you wanna give them something to see. So, you know, rock out a little bit, lay into that guitar, pick it a little bit harder. You don't wanna sit there and just look bored because if you look bored, and if you play like you're bored, then chances are people watching your video are also gonna be bored. All right, I did shoot a video to show you guys what you can do with your cell phone. I used the room pretty much the way that it's lit up right now, obviously just with my lighting panels moved over so that they could light me up in the center of the room as opposed to lighting me up here close to the desk. What I did was another cover of Ollie Steele's Balance. The reason for that is I play that song a couple of times almost every day now. It's part of my warm up routine, uh, so it's always fresh in my mind, so it was pretty easy for me to rattle off a few shots for that uh, to make a video for you guys. Now this is just an example to show you guys what you can do with a cell phone. Like I said, I'm using Using an iPhone 8, it's about three years old, it's not the newest thing. I know they're coming out with some crazy cameras and phones right now, but you don't need to have the newest thing in order to shoot somewhat of a quality video that people wanna watch. I did only use one LED light to light myself up, and of course I used this tripod to get all of the sufficient angles that I needed. Uh, so check this out and I'll be right back with you guys.
So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this content, please let me know down below. If you guys like the types of videos where I show you guys some of the process and things that I go through when I'm making videos, let me know in the comments down below as well. Uh, that way I can make more of these for you guys. Uh, and as always, please hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on the next video.